Um, status, sync, level, learn, and then you have this multi-dial select will thingy. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in on it. See that? So you're going to pulse it left and right, and you're going to pulse, and you're going to push it in. The in is basically the enter. So I'm going to pulse over t until I hit learn. There's learn, and I'm going to push it in, which is enter. Now I'm going to pulse it to the right, and pulse it to the right, and pulse it to the right, until my first bass note starts playing and it's playing and you can hear that I already adjusted that note so that it plays as softly as I could play it okay but let's let's adjust it so let's push it in let's say it's playing it's too soft push it in pulse it to the right let's make it play way too loud <clears throat> that's way too loud okay so I'm going to push it in and I'm gonna pulse it to the left. And I went too far. And you know what? With that particular note, that's as soft as I can go. And you know what, that's okay. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna save it by pushing it in, and now I'm gonna to go to the right. And you know what, that didn't seem right if you want the truth, my friends. Let's go back to it and push it in to select. Okay, and I'm glad we went through this together. That was not right, and now you can see that I am bringing it down, okay? And I'll say this really fast. The reason that happened is because this piano is about 10 years old, not that, not quite that old, maybe six years old, and what happens is the, the contacts inside of this box, they get oxidized, the electronic um, contacts. And so sometimes before you even do this, if you wanna unplug the piano, push this thing in 100 times. Pulse it to the right 100 times, pulse it to the left, okay, 50 times, whatever, just to kind of clean the contact. And don't be too rough with that thing either because you could push it in too hard and you break it. So that was a good little moment. I'm glad we had that moment together, okay? So now I'm gonna push it in again and let's see what happens. It's because I was going to the next note. Okay, so watch me. I'm going to go to the left and, the, and to the left again. And there's that original note. I'm going to turn it down just a tiny bit. Right there. Right there. Now I'm going to push enter and go to the right, which is that note. And to the right, 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 right. And let's just listen to these. That's a little soft. So I'm going to push enter. Bring it up a tiny bit. Right there. Now go to the right again. That one's a little soft. I pushed enter. Now I pushed enter and I'm going to the right. And that's a little soft too. I'm gonna to push enter again and go to the right. Push enter, go to the right. Next note, next note. So you get the idea. Because <clears throat> I already went through and calibrated this. So this is pretty good. And let's go to the left. That was a little bit louder than the others. I'm gonna push it in, pulse it to the left. Go to the right. And maybe turn that one down a little bit. Push the enter. Maybe turn that down a tiny bit. Push enter, go to the right. Maybe turn that one down a little bit. Enter, right. Okay, you get the idea. And do your whole keyboard that way. Okay, and when you're satisfied, and once again, see how you can go left, right, left, all with that multi-dial select will. When you think you've got all of the notes nice and even, push and hold this until all the lights flash. There you go. And now you just recorded your calibration and your piano will play a lot better. And one last thing, before you do that, set the levels. And I showed you how to do that with a previous video. Okay, we'll see you guys later, thanks.